Today, I'm going to discuss with you how to make affordable DIY wall art for any wall. All you have to do is pick your favorite style, perhaps add a little glitter, and go. Ready? Let's DIY. Let's take a look at the required and then my suggested supplies. And then I'll suggest what not to use. First, you'll need a canvas in a suitable size for your space. For the area above my fireplace mantle, my canvas measures 36 inches by 36 inches. For my two vertical pieces in my office, each canvas measures 24 inches by 30 inches. Next, you'll need to select a shower curtain or maybe a banner or wall tapestry you'll find well suited for your space. I've linked two shower curtains I ordered, this one and a similar one for an upcoming project. While ordering your shower curtain, you may consider ordering some quartz, turquoise, and other stones to add texture to your art. While I have tiny rose quartz and amethyst chips I could have used, I opted for turquoise chips and pink Himalayan sea salt. Each of these are on hand for when I make essential oils gifts. Lastly, you'll need sharp scissors, a staple gun, and staples. I used kitchen shears because they matched my shower curtain, I'm extra like that. But I recommend opting for fabric scissors, especially if you want to keep your leftover fabric scraps. This is Mom's video, and I love Mom's channel. In a linked video, I show you how I upcycled my scraps from this project. The project steps are simple. Wrap the canvas in fabric and determine the ideal pattern location for the front. Consider the Z pattern in which the eye moves across artwork. Take a gander at any wrinkles and decide if you'd like to steam or iron the fabric before beginning. If the fabric is shiny, then subtle fold creases and wrinkles may be visible, so I chose to steam mine once I had my flat lay. After ensuring there is enough overhang to staple it in the back, cut the fabric to size. You may want to leave an extra inch of fabric for safe measure. Then begin stapling the fabric on one end to secure it. Next, you may want to move to the opposite end to ensure the fabric is pulled taut. When it comes to the corners, I think it looks clean and pro-like to wrap it as a canvas is done with straight folds. No, don't do that. The aqua? But do what works best. Hospital corners, mitered corners, wrapped like a present, etc. I can't forget to mention hanging it. That's the best part. Well, at least getting to see your finished product on the wall. When I can, I like to outsource the actual hanging part. At this point, would you feel bold enough to run through some experiments in imperfection with me? If so, you can pull out all the embellishments you can find in your craft stash that will enhance the beauty of your finished panel art. Maybe you have old glitter glues, puff paint, and jars of fine and chunky glitter from your childhood? No? Just me? I mean, I was saving them for a special occasion, and this seems as special as any. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> What's nice about this project is that if you tire of your art, you can deconstruct it by simply removing the fabric and you'll have a blank canvas for your next masterpiece. Let this project stretch your mind, pun intended, for other ways to incorporate fave fabrics you're not ready to part with. I made use of a bed quilt that was coming unstitched by stitching up the split areas and then wrapping it around a wooden frame my husband built for the job. Tell us in the comments if you've ever done a fabric wrapped project. That's all for these experiments in imperfection. Won't you join us next time? Until then, toodaloo! Let the salt fall where it may.